And here we go. Here's where I think things could be possibly linking together. So, people get murdered every day. Kids get stolen. People are trafficked. People are hit and run over. Yeah. I had a vision to prevent her death. And yeah. I did. Okay. I don't think I stopped time. I think it was God. Yeah. And I think there was a reason for it. I think that reason is because from the time I was little, use your mouth, use your mouth, use your mouth, use your mouth. Right. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how to use my mouth yet. I mean, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. I'm assuming it's going to be when I get put in one of these damn camps. But there was a reason that she wasn't to die. There was a reason that I'm here. And now looking in the last, when did I first have the dream? Three, four months ago? Four yeah. or five months ago? Maybe about four months ago, maybe? When I first saw the Antichrist in that cafe? About it. Okay, well, then that's when it was. How long ago was that? About four months. Okay, so about four months ago was when I first had that. Yeah, before we went to the auction. Yep. So, so four months ago. And um, having that, having it, having it, not being able to see the face at that time. Getting the corona, corona yeah. visor, and letting it do its thing and taking me to these places and seeing these things and then him showing up here in the house. I think there's some links to that. Could be. I do think there, I, and what I think it is, is I think he knows that I'm going to use my mouth. Yeah, you're That's what I've come up with. What possibly mean, though? Because, see, here's the thing. You have people that don't believe in God and Jesus because they think it's a fairy tale. Yeah. Which, if they've never been taught or they haven't had any experience or they haven't witnessed a miracle or their life is pretty shitty, I can understand why they might not believe because it is based on faith, honestly. Right. Although, I think you can base it on science. I think because I, I I don't care. You can't tell me well, Einstein, an explosion. Yeah, yeah Einstein was he an atheist. He did not believe. He was an atheist. He was an atheist. He did not believe. And then in the end, he believed. Right. You know yeah. why? He started looking at it in mathematically. He tried to disprove it. It's impossible and in trying to, to disprove, the no, there's a book written on this. It's a very rare book, and it's hard to find. And it's all about him, and it's all about his disbelief in God and how he came to believe God. Uh, believe in God yeah. because he set out to disprove him. Right. Uh -huh. And in trying to disprove him, he ended up proving that he existed. Yeah. Mathematically, yeah. and, you know, th there was no meteor that created people. We didn't come yeah. from a single cell in the ocean. Even though the scientists can tell your body is su such and such a saline, no. That's, that doesn't that's mean crap. anything because God. Is going to recycle and use material just like well, anybody I mean, else. We probably do have so much saline. Oh yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. But God, we do. That's science. And how He made us, you know. Yeah. But everything works together to make everything else right. work. We didn't just happen by pure chance. And yeah, is it impossible to look at the universe and the way everything moves and works together and say, yeah, there was this particle that exploded. Oh, and everything was listen. in this tiny little particle. I'm going to get into the that. Universe and boom, I don't think so. All right, listen, I'm going to get into that. I want you to remember. The astrological signs. Keep that in your brain. Because my brain works so fast, I'll forget it. Okay. I got you. So, keep right. that in your mind. Can you pass me the tea, though, dude? Yeah, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you this. Okay. So, listen. Now, um, and I'm not trying to get political here, but we were talking about science. Okay? Right. So, Einstein, like I said, he set out to prove that God didn't exist and in doing so... In his mind, mathematically, he did prove that he did. Because he looked at all the percentages, numbers. Um, could it be? Could it not be? Like, what are the percentages of this happened or that? You know, whatever. So, <clears throat> now, the liberals... And again, I'm not trying to get... I'm not trying to be political here, but... I'm, I'm just going to... Okay, so you, you have your right wing, your Republicans, that are God-believing... Um, and, you know, have their own thing going on. And you have your liberals who are, you know, a lot of them not God-believing and 
they they want to go on with science, 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 science. And there's nothing wrong with science. <coughs> nothing at all wrong with science. The problem I have with liberals and science is you cannot tell me she's it's covered. It's all good. There's no naked asses running through here. So <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we're all in the dark anyway. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. The, the thing with that is, is that you want to yell about science and tell me that God and Jesus doesn't exist because you can't see him. But at the same time, you want to tell me not to discriminate against men and tampons and pads because they have their periods, too. Yeah. You want to tell me, no comment, no comment. <laughs> yep, no comment. You want to tell me that there's a thousand genders and yet you want to spout your scientific bullshit when it's not true. I don't care who you want to be, who you think you are, who you want to turn into. That's not my business and I'm not going to judge you. Uh, you know, if I know you and I like you, I'm going to like you whether you're a woman turned into a man or a man turned into a woman if I got along with you and you said, hey, help me shop for a thong that's going to hide my ball sack. Okay, you know, I might not be all that into it, but I'm going to pick out the proper color that matches your body and hide your ball sack. Whatever I need to do for you. I'm not going to make fun of you. I'm not going to put you down. I'm going to have compassion for you because I believe in live and let live. But do not tell me and do not shove down my throat that this is science because it's not. We don't have a thousand genders. We don't have, it, it doesn't exist. So when you tell me, when you want to tell me that your thousand genders exist, when you want to tell me that um, men get their periods, and also, it, you know, out of the other side of your mouth, want to tell me God and Jesus doesn't exist, you need to sit down and shut the hell up. Honestly, well, that's one I'm fairy tale about. to another, if that's what you want to call it. But I have witnessed and seen with my own eyes things. So have I. I have seen Jesus. I haven't. I have saw, I have, I've seen Jesus in the flesh. I didn't call him up. He came to me. I saw Jesus. I People can say I'm nuts all they want to. Tell him what he looked like. Okay, Jesus isn't white. And look, I, I love white people. Except for them ones in Laurel Lakes, was there, there, yeah, it's a whole nother ball game there. I don't love people. Yeah, but I mean, you know, she doesn't. But here, here's the thing. I, Jesus wasn't white. I, mean, I know because I looked at him face to face. He wasn't black though either. He wasn't black. He was, um, he was a lighter color than my iced tea. Right. And that's a pretty dark iced tea if you're looking at it right now. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. He was the color of that brown paper bag. Okay. That was the color of him, for real. He's that color. His hair was in between white people's and black people's hair. Okay. And the most distinctive thing about him, though... I remember. ...are his eyes. And I didn't make this up in a time of what they call trauma when Jesus is coming to you. That doesn't, that doesn't happen. Um... The blue eye color is not my favorite eye color. It's not something I'm going to conjure up because I don't care for blue eyes. I never have. I just don't like them. I don't know. I mean, it's just my preference. I don't like blue eyes. I like dark eyes or green eyes. Green eyes, dark eyes. Um, my son has... Um, his eyes are silver. Yeah, silver. 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 Like, it's a very rare eye color. He has silver eyes. My mom had silver eyes. Yep. He has silver eyes. They're not brown. They're not hazel. They're not yellow. They're silver. But I don't mind the silver eyes or the dark eyes, but I, I've never cared for blue. Now, his eyes were blue, but it's a blue that I can't even describe to you. They were like diamonds. They moved. They shifted. His eyes were alive. You like his me eyes. Like living waters. Yeah, they were like living waters. They moved. It's like his eyes were almost a separate entity from his body. Well, but they weren't. You know, his eyes were inside, yeah. Think about it. He was half gone. <clears throat> I mean, it was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Ever. He was half human, half God. And, okay, now we have to stop. 